If you're curious what six to 700,000 will get you in the Catalina foothills, you'll wanna stick around with us today. We're gonna to explore some different neighborhoods and show you some homes in that price point so you can get an idea of what you'll get for your money. Let's go. Let's go. If you're new to this channel and you wanna learn everything from A to Z about living in Tucson AZ, then click subscribe and tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Tucson, Arizona. Hi, I'm Jennifer Smith and this is my husband, Dustin Smith. And we've helped hundreds of people just like you move to and from Tucson, Arizona. So whether you're moving in 12 days, 12 weeks, 12 months, we got you covered. Give us a call. Let us help you make that smooth move to Tucson, Arizona. All right, so to start off, we are over here in Sabino Town and Country Estates. And this is a gorgeous subdivision, a lot of different style homes throughout here. The house behind us today is $695,000, just over 2,000 square feet, four bedroom, two and a half bath on just over half an acre. And the way that they situated the house on this lot is just perfect. You have north, south, so you have the north views from the backyard, the front of the house is pointed south, and honestly, you can't, you can't get better <laughs> views in this subdivision from a lot of these houses. I mean, this really is situated perfectly. Yep, so uh, on about half an acre, you have a wash between the, the next house yeah. to the north right here, so lots of space right there. They're not going to obstruct your views. You're mm -hmm. going to have privacy in your backyard. Yes. Um, but it's, you know, well-established community. It has great roads in it. Uh, you see people just hiking and walking through the community. Yeah. And we're only a half a mile away from the Sabino Canyon Recreation Area, which yeah. um, has Tucson's top rank hiking trails in there. I mean, absolute beauty, running water for a majority of the year. Uh, mm -hmm. which is actually something very rare to the Tucson area. Our favorite hike in there, if you want to check out Sabino Canyon Recreation Area, is going to be Seven Falls. It's a long hike, but it is well worth it. They call it Seven Falls because of the different waterfalls that you'll see when you get to the top seven of them, right? <laughs> yeah, and you're going you're gonna to walk along the, you know, the creek on the way there. So yes. uh, you've got some water to dip your toes in along the hike. So even in the summer, you know, those monsoons are one of the best times to go up there. You get to kind of stay wet as you, you make that journey. And we're braving the rain out here for you today. I just got hit by a <laughs> raindrop in my eyeballs. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, uh, it's supposed to hit 77 today. It's yeah. February and it's raining. I don't, I, it's, yeah. <laughs> the weather doesn't know what it's doing right now. We <laughs> always like to pop in there, just little details about what's going on the different times of year, just so you have an idea when you're coming here what the weather's like. I mean, a lot of people are dealing with snow in different parts of the country right now. And here, I mean, we've been in the 70s and even hit 80 a little earlier this week, but we have our rainstorms that come in and cool things down a little bit. And sometimes this time of year, we even see snow. If you see from some of the video, um, I'm not sure if it'll come through, but there's actually snow on the top of the mountains from about two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, we really shouldn't uh, be in the 70s with rain today in February, no. <laughs> but you know, it's something to enjoy. It actually makes quite nice out here for a video today though. <laughs> oh definitely preferable to being really hot or really cold. It's yep. great. Let's go show you some other homes.
All right, so we are over here in Sunrise Presidio Village, which is a very popular subdivision in the Catalina foothills. Um, as you can see behind us, this house is a little on the older side. It was built in 1978, so you have that brick, uh, you know, red brick, which is really nice. It is uh, timeless in my opinion. Um, the one thing here is all of the mountain views you're going to get are going to be from the front. <laughs> so depending on where you're at in this subdivision, you could have really amazing Catalina mountain views from the backyard um, or you could have them from the front, maybe even your side yards, depending on how your lot is in here, which they're all kind of a little bit different as we drove around in here. Not as many hills as the next neighborhood that we're going to. Um, you'll want to check that one out. but. This one, you know, the, the houses are kind of spread apart. We're at the end of a cul-de-sac right here, right? You know? <laughs> yep. So yeah, this cul-de-sac does uh, back up to Craycroft Road. Um, yeah. So a little bit of road noise right there. But on the plus side, uh, Craycroft being so close, that's a great route to get you into the city of Tucson or Sunrise right here kind of gets you into some of that foothill shopping. So yeah, uh, lots of great options right there. Major employer, employer <laughs> right down the road, uh, Tucson Medical Center, one of the um, most uh, reputable hospitals mm -hmm. in the Tucson area. Yep, absolutely. And so this house back here is listed at 615,000. It's a great chance to get into Sunrise Presidio Village. It could use some updating, you know, with it being a 1978 house. I wouldn't say that everything in there is original, but it definitely looks pretty close to it. And, um, you know, it does have a beautiful pool in the backyard, huge lot, almost an acre right here. And it's four bedroom, three bathroom, just over 2,200 square feet. So just kind of, so you can see what you can get in here, but the prices do go well up into the seven, 800,000 range in this subdivision. Generally about 250, 300 a square foot is, is what we were looking at, so. Yeah, nice flat usable lot right here too. Yes. So if you're looking for utility on that lot in the foothills, um, that's something you have right here, but a lot mm -hmm. of homes throughout the neighborhood, a lot of homes in the foothills in general, I mean, they're on those hills. So the house is built on the most usable part of the lot and you're lucky to have some parking around the home. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, let's go ahead to our last subdivision. All right, so we are over here in Heatherwood Hills, which is an absolutely stunning subdivision in the Catalina foothills. You'll see a mix of older homes, some a little bit newer construction, um, custom, semi-custom. The one behind us here today we're gonna talk about was built in 1983. So you have that slump block construction. The house is listed at 697,000 and it's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, just over 2,100 square feet. The inside's beautiful. It's got a gas heated Pebble Tech pool in the backyard. You're at the end of a cul-de-sac and the house sits on almost an acre with room for RV parking. So, I mean, what more could you want? <laughs> yeah, lots of space here. There's uh, mountain views, city views. If you like, um, like good paths for hiking and biking, we're about two miles away from the Rito River Walk. So you've got paved trails down there that, mm -hmm. and that's actually part of uh, the loop around Tucson too. So yeah. you can connect to all the uh, biking loops that go throughout Tucson. Great for, you know, just recreational travel or, you know, um, maybe even like a day of commuting around town. So yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, this is just a, a really gem of a neighborhood over here in the foothills. You have this mm -hmm. hills. It, um, you might see on the, the driving footage in the neighborhood, even though there's a lot of homes in here, they're spaced out and there's a lot of privacy between the homes because of the, the trees and because of the hills in the area too. 
Yeah, and a pretty fitting name right there for the subdivision, Heatherwood Hills, because as you drive through here, there is a lot of like hips, you know, dips, valleys, and that the way the houses are situated, it was actually hard for us to get some of the footage because they're really tucked in there behind a lot of these like Palo Verde and Mesquite trees that you'll see and beautiful saguaros and desert cactus, so. Yeah, especially when we're facing towards the north, up towards the mountains. When you, you know, look downhill a little bit more, it's easier to see, you lose those mountain views. And look out towards the city. Yeah, absolutely. Well, as always, thank you for sticking around with us today for our video. Uh, happy to show you around the foothills. We'll keep showing you around in some of our other videos that you'll want to check out. If you or anyone you know is thinking about moving to or from Tucson, Arizona, give us a call, shoot us a text or an email. Let us help you make that smooth move. And if you could give us a like, subscribe, and tap that bell for notifications. We'll make sure we keep you updated on the current market in Tucson, Arizona. See you on the next video.